One of the many projects I've been working on this summer is an open source space colonization project called Nexus Aurora, trying to figure out how to build things on Mars cheaply. Like, this farm structure needs something to keep the atmosphere in. So Sean uh, convinced me that it's a good idea to have basalt fiber, basically holding back a clear piece of plastic. I made this heat laminated sort of composite. Now, it's really beautiful, but the question is, will it work to actually hold pressure back? So I made some end caps, 3D printed from PETG. There's a little airlock on the top that slides in. To stick this to my basalt sheet, I used double-sided duct tape. I rolled the sheet up into a little tube, sticking it on the end caps with the tape and sealing the, the one edge. I secured this thing down using hose clamps. These are little stainless steel hose clamps, look, look great. I put in some uh, foliage and uh, occupants. Here's how the airlock goes in. So because it's not actually round, you can turn it diagonally and then fit the little airlock in. And then it's tapered, so as you pull it, it just tightens up and it actually stays in pretty securely. So, time for a pressure test. And it turns out, yeah, it doesn't hold pressure. So I melted some paraffin into the, the little holes in the 3D print and that seemed to actually hold water. So here I am doing a dunk test just to make sure that I got it. I really like the look of the basalt fiber here. It's interesting how the plastic turns reflective, total internal reflection kicks in when the, the light rays bounce off of the air layer inside there, but not the basalt fiber. Okay, let's do a full pressure test. Our goal is to get up to one bar. So if I add a little bit of pressure, you can see the wrinkles come out of the, uh, the, the tube. Not much happens. It's actually not real obvious. When I let go of the pressure, the wrinkles come back because this thing leaks pretty bad. So let me show you the, the pressure gauge. Now I'm feeding this with about four bar compressed air. So I'm just adding little teeny divots of it. Uh, you can see the actual pressure inside when the, the gauge drops back down. So here's a close-up of the gauge, which is totally invisible otherwise. So you can see we actually are just about to hit one bar, and there's one bar. We can hold atmospheric pressure. Uh, there's a problem, though. My duct tape seems to be sliding out, and... Uh, oh, okay. Yep. So... Uh, we just ejected one of the end caps. Now that's a mechanical failure. That's not actually a failure of the plastic or the basalt. So this was kind of a crude improvised setup. Actually, the duct tape worked great as a sealant. It just didn't hold the, uh, the, the pressure is actually trying to push the end caps off of the, the end. And it really wasn't a good structural connection. Uh, even with the hose clamps, I, I wasn't able to tighten down the hose clamps very well. The plastic would creep away underneath them. So overall, I would call this a success. The 3D printed parts held up, the salt fiber held up.